How to get more power to improve your triple jump, your long jumping and your sprinting. That's the focus of this video. I recently received a question from Sammy Althing 2651 and he asked me what was a great concentric muscle shortening workout for triple jump. Now I've got to start off from the premise that we can't just train one muscular action. We need to train a number of muscular actions. So not only concentric, but eccentric and isometric. In fact, the latter two muscular actions, the lengthening one and the static one, may be, everything else being equal, the most important of the three. But let's focus on the concentric actions, at least initially. When you triple jump and extend out of the contact, the muscles of the ankle, hip and knee shorten to propel you upwards. A concentric action is the most common of all muscular actions. And to develop power in that range, you can use weight training, for example. So we will do very short range power squats. Rack a bar up in a Smith machine or a rack and over a short range of movement, drive it up very quickly. Deeper squats can also be used. I'm not somebody who likes to go beyond half squat position. And to be honest, most of our squats are in the three quarter range and upwards. I will, however, do split squats. You need to throw the emphasis not only on the anterior front muscles, but on the posterior chain as well. And that's a very important consideration when pulling together a concentric and indeed a triphasic multi-muscular action workout. In the triple jump, you get more knee bend than you do in the long jump and when sprinting at maximum velocity, for example. So out of the hop, and into the step phase, there's gonna be quite a lowering of the center of mass and a yielding at the hip, knee, and indeed ankle. It's mostly manifested at the knee. Then when you go into the jump phase, you've got a very similar decrease in knee angle as well. So there is some rationale in training over deeper angles, depths of squat, for example, and indeed with plyometrics, which I'll come on to later. So when you go up out of a phase in a triple jump, you come down. So you're gonna go from a concentric to an eccentric action. So you've got that yielding phase. Therefore, the eccentric phase is crucial. And indeed, there's gonna be milliseconds of isometric movement as well. In that yielding, that catch of the hop phase into the step phase, for example, or indeed on the long jump takeoff board, when you plant and then move off the board into the jump. So we need to train eccentrically as well as concentrically and indeed isometrically. If you only train concentrically, you're gonna be very good at moving powerfully upwards and not necessarily great at absorbing and then returning the energy, the stretch and the reflex. Now, focusing on what the questioner asked, putting together a workout that's going to develop great concentric power that's going to benefit the triple jump, long jump and sprinting. So I would do push squats that I referred to earlier and I'd also do jump squats with a pause. So holding pretty heavy dumbbells by your side, lowering pulls, jump up and catch the landing in that blocking position. So you're not going to do consecutive jumps, you're going to pause between each one then that means that you've turned off the stretch reflex and the jumps are going to be predominantly concentrically driven. It's also very easy to neglect the ankle complex and the calf muscles. So we need to train those muscles across multi-muscular actions as well. You can do straight leg jumps, again holding dumbbells, or utilizing a rack, calf raises, raising up, onto your toes and then lowering under control. Always add in the eccentric portion, i.e. don't just collapse. Control the movement on the way down and then focus and then explode up in the concentric arc of the movement. Another very concentrically orientated exercise that we use from time to time is the step up with a stationary position on a box top, a plyo platform would work. Put your foot on top of the platform and then drive your body up into position. Don't bounce, don't use a standing leg, hover that across the ground. Really use the grounded leg on the top of the box to 
extend, push down as hard as you can into the box top and extend upwards. I mentioned hack squats, so holding the bar behind your thighs or using a hex bar and squatting upwards can throw more of the emphasis of the exercise onto your glutes and hamstrings and those can't be neglected. There's a tendency with a concentric focus to just focus predominantly on the knee extensors but we've got to work on both sides of the thigh and also across all the muscular joints in order to produce a leg or legs that will produce optimum power and force. I see a lot of videos on YouTube which look into the key weight training exercises for sprinting, the best exercises for quads, for calves, etc. Be mindful that you need to integrate those exercises into a training program that is going to primarily develop jumping ability or speed and or speed I should say. If you just focus on what do look like great exercises in isolation but don't integrate those within a specific goal driven triple jump long jump sprint training program then you're going to go down a bit of a blind alley. You're going to lose transference and that is key. Everything you do must be geared up towards the end result your goal of being a better long jumper, sprinter or triple jumper. Analyse your strengths and weaknesses, work out what exercises you need to do, not what the internet says, then you're going to get results. Good luck with your training and any competitions that you've got coming up. If you'd like to help me help you become a better athlete or coach, then do consider becoming a channel member. Head over to the channel's homepage, click on the members or join button and take a look at the offers which are available. For just $1.99 a month, £1.99 a month, you can become a channel supporter and do just that. If you like the Jumps Squad merchandise that I often wear in these videos, then do check out the Spring Store. You'll see the products available underneath this video, for example, and I've launched a new backpack rucksack with the jump squad logo on it so do check that out